Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'll more or less just be giving an overview on human playback, which, as the name suggests, is the feature in Finale that allows you to hear your music play back as if a human was playing it. Now, for pretty much every genre of music, uh, human playback is fantastic. It'll add inflection where music needs to be added, it'll play it in the proper style, it'll play back certain things you've added onto notes, um, different articulations, ornamentations, etc., etc., uh, there are a few elements in uh, writing for rudimental percussion that aren't necessarily played back properly, at least the way we would want to them to uh, when writing using human playback. Now, just to give a little bit of a um, kind of a tour of where to find these things, here in the playback menu, you can change your playback style here. I've got it set to marching band because uh, that will play back single note, single slash tremolos properly. Also here in the Human Playback Preferences area, remember in an earlier video, I set this user MIDI data to incorporate data because there are times uh, when we'll, for instance, want to change the start and stop time when notes start and stop. Uh, we'll also, in the next few videos uh, later on, want to be working with velocity, which is a, a topic we'll cover later on. And there are other elements here that we can adjust, but they won't apply to the next set of videos we'll be working on. Uh, the first thing I'll do is just play back the score here at the beginning. I want you to pay particular attention uh, to just how all this is played back. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. This will be just snares and tenors. Cool. Okay, so you can hear that all of the single slash tremolos played back, and we've been hearing those for a while, but those are playing back uh, because human playback is turned on. Um, now, if I turned it off... I came in here to none and played back the same thing. You'll notice none of these single slash tremolos play back. See, so it was really just kind of that check pattern underneath those notes. So that's where that comes in handy as uh, for that sort of stuff. One element where human playback becomes sort of a problem is working with three slash tremolos. For instance, if I scroll here to the end of the piece, I've added a suspended cymbal roll. Um, I've had this concert band combo person switch over to the cymbal rack combo. So you can see VDL cymbal combo is selected there for this um, staff style change. And this text really doesn't have any effect on the playback of it. So I'll need to set this to measure 8. And I'll also need to come into my mixer. I'll just hold down Alt. Command M or Alt Control M on Windows. And I'm going to solo this bottom staff so you can hear it a little better. And again, I've already gone in and loaded on all the sounds and everything that would be necessary here. Let's give this a listen. So you can hear we kind of got a funky sort of flanged sound there when it played back. And that's because uh, Human Playback is attempting to play this three slash tremolo over and over um, the way you would expect a three slash tremolo to be played back. Um, but here with this particular sample, we want to just hear the sample uh, played without being affected by that three slash tremolo. Um, so between this and this stuff here at the beginning, we're going to address in the next few videos a few ways of getting the playback we want while also getting the notation we want. Uh, and getting it all to sort of play nice with human playback. So stick around. We'll see you next time.